Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a simple but cool and cinematic portal effect. Um, you can use this in any of your videos. We're going to we're going to be using uh, Fucus for stable diffusion, and then we're going to go over to use CapCut as our video editor. And everything I'm using here today is free. So anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do over in Fucus is, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm just typing in uh, Stargate in the desert. And I'm going to go with the 1344 by 704 on the size. That's going to be close to your 16 by 9. And we're just going to render that out a couple of times and, and get one of these we can use. Either one of these would be okay. Um, and if I wanted to spend time and work on my prompt, I, you know, I could probably get a lot better image. But for the, the video today, this is all I really need. So we're going to save that and we're going to take it over to Photoshop real quick. So over here in Photoshop, I don't want the people on horses or whatever that is down there in the picture. So I'm just going to copy a little uh, piece of the picture and overlay it and get rid of that myself. And then after we do that, we are going to uh, create a green screen layer. And we're going to fill that circle in with green. So we have uh, two layers, our original and a green screen layer to take over to CapCut. Once you've got your two layers, save both of them. And you can close out of the other step. And we're just going to uh, finish up in CapCut now. So once we're over here in CapCut, we're going to bring um, both copies down into the timeline. It doesn't really matter what time length you set them for at the moment. We'll just have to slide that around in a minute until we get it where we want it. I'm going to go into the library, the video library, and type in space. Now there's going to be a bunch of these that would work. I just went through them before I started the video and found one I liked here. So I'm not going to search around. I already know which one I want. Um, but when you do this yourself, you know, there's a lot of choices up in here. So anyway, we're going to drop that down into the timeline under our green screen layer. And if you ever notice that the underneath layer is, is actually showing up on top, just slide down here and uh, just change the layer that it's on. It's somehow it puts it in the wrong layer sometimes. We're going to scale the frame to fit pretty much to our picture. And then we're going to come in here and start with the opacity at zero. And uh, we're going to keyframe that. And about, I don't know, five, four or five seconds in, we're going to start bringing that up to uh, 100% so that it actually looks like it transitions over. We will let that run just a little bit at 100%. And then we're going to fade it back out. We want this to be a transition effect. Now I'm going to go back into the search over here in the library and I'm going to type in pyramids and uh, I'm going to make sure that I've got movie selected or video selected and not, you know, still images. And we're going to drag that into the timeline on the bottom underneath everything. And uh, that way when the space scene comes in and then back out, we've transitioned to this new scene that's going to be showing up in our portal. And we'll do the same thing with this clip. We'll, we'll start with a zero opacity, and then uh, we will bring the opacity up to 100% so that it's a nice, smooth transition. Now, when you're done getting this effect to look the way you want it to, where it transitions from one into the other, um, we're going to convert that into a compound clip. And if, if you're not familiar with CapCut, I'm not going to go really into how to use CapCut. There's a ton of videos out there about it, um, but these are pretty basic things in the software. So hopefully you have a little bit of knowledge of CapCut before you get started in this. Now we're going to drop some effects into the timeline. Um, we're going to drop the ripple effect into it. And if you notice, if we lay that above our compound clip, it, uh, is, it works just fine. A lot of times you'll have to break that compound clip back open, 
but the ripple effect here is a, a circle in the middle of the screen, so it actually works out perfect for this. But now, as you can see, on the other ripple effect I want to use, it affects the entire screen. So we'll have to get rid of that. We'll have to open this compound clip back up so that we can put it to a specific one of our clips down here. And I want that to be on the pyramids and not on the rest of the clip. Now we can bundle that all back up into a compound clip again. And uh, if you notice now, as we transition over, the pyramids have kind of a, a warbly effect to them. So we'll, we will take a quick run through the entire video here and see how our transitions and everything look. And everything looks nice and smooth. I think that uh, it all looks pretty good. So we're gonna add um, some more effects in on this. I want a nice uh, flash effect where it looks like there's been a big energy discharge or something. Um, and it'll take a second here to go through the different flashes and see which one we want to use. There's so many um, add-ons for free in CapCut that sometimes, you know, until you know what the names of them are, it may take a while to search out exactly what you're looking for. So white flash here will do what I want it to do. We'll have to put it and the, I want to put it right where the transition starts, the first transition, and then we'll have to actually take this filter and slide it back and make sure it just gives us one good flash. We don't want it uh, looking like a strobe light. Now that that all looks good, we are going to add some um, overlay effects that go over the entire scene and... Uh, well, this is where it'll start looking more cinematic. So first one we're going to do is we're going to put mist on the scene and we're going to turn the atmosphere way down on this so that you can just sort of see it. And it, you know, kind of just gives that hazy look to the atmosphere. And then after we get mist on there, um, snowstorm works really well at looking like uh, blurry dust particles up close to the camera. You have to turn the atmosphere way back on that so that they're, you know, not so noticeable. Um, but it gives you that nice dust particle effect of things just floating around in the air. Um, and this looks pretty good. So I think I think we're about done with this one. So we're going to export this because we're going to come back and do some color grading. Now we could compound clip this, um, which is probably just as easy. But I sometimes for myself, I like to just go ahead and render it out and then bring it back in as a, as a clean video. So as far as color grading and uh, giving it a cinematic appearance, all the different things, the first thing we're going to do is give it a slight movement. Now, a big mistake a lot of people make when you're trying to take a 2D image and make it look cinematic is they give it too much movement. Um, just a little bit of movement in the camera will make it seem, you know, more realistic. So here we're going to zoom in slightly and we're going to pan slightly, which gives us just enough of movement to make this look a little bit more three-dimensional. And then once we get that set the way we like it, we're going to go over to the uh, filters and we're going to type in, in the search here, movie. There's a lot of ways to do color grading. This is just a really quick and simple way of doing it. These filters under movie will be set up with, you know, certain styles from certain movies that are actually, you know, out there. Um, I think I'm going to probably go with the Oppenheimer one here, which is a pretty new movie. It's a very kind of a dark and drab kind of a look to it but this gives us a, a nice realistic look. So we're going to drop that onto the timeline and then we could go over into adjustments and fine tune this, but for the video today, I think that that's going to be about it. So we'll render this out and show you what it looks like full screen. And if you have any ideas of ways we could do this better or anything you want to say to us, drop it in the comments. And other than that, we will see you in the next one.